More evidence of turmoil in the polygamous towns of Colorado City and Hilldale. Signs of increased police presence from outside law enforcement. This comes as followers of imprisoned leader Warren Jeffs have been told to prepare backpacks for the end of the world that is coming this Sunday. Lad Egan, live in southern Utah with more for us. And Lad, this isn't the first time that Jeffs has made this kind of doomsday prophecy. Yeah, and there have been a flurry of edicts uh, from behind the prison walls recently, including strict new dietary restrictions. And these doomsday prophecies do seem to be a sort of holiday tradition for Warren Jeffs. But law enforcement sources say that this year uh, the situation in those cities seems a little more desperate as there has been intense pressure on the FLDS church from both government officials here in Utah and in Texas. There are more deputies around here now. It used to be two at any given time. Now there's six. Residents say the anxiety is ramping up as followers of Warren Jeffs prepare for the end. We're all supposed to make these gray or blue backpacks two by two by one, pack them with essentials, be ready to go at a moment's notice. The latest published revelations from Jeffs warn to be ready for a disastrous cleansing predicted to be December 23rd. He's done nothing but suck from this community. Former FLDS member Isaac Weiler says he's heard it all before. It's just Warren whipping him up into another frenzy to gather money. And when the end doesn't come, Weiler says Jeffs will still be right and blame his followers. You didn't have enough faith for it to happen, otherwise it would have happened. So it's your fault that it didn't happen. While the false doomsday predictions usually come and go, Weiler says the blind obedience to Jeffs could someday lead to tragedy. I've got a brother-in-law who once told my sister, he says, if, if the prophet told me to, I'd slit your throat without even thinking about it. There's always that fear that, that Warren would see how far he could take him. December 23rd is uh, Joseph Smith's birthday, and that's the only connection former members of the FLDS Church can find to why that day has been picked uh, for that doomsday prophecy. I did reach out to law enforcement agencies on the Arizona side and on the Utah side to see if there'll be any sort of enhanced patrols on that day in those cities. Shauna, I'm told that they can't discuss staffing levels or schedules for security purposes. Back to you. All right, lad, thank you.